Hey everybody, how's it going? Let's play some Planet Zoo franchise mode here in 2020. So this is our turtle exhibit, and you can see that people are frozen in time, staring at these beautiful specimens of turtles, which, man, they have made, uh, I think I started with just a few, but they have made babies all over the place. This is exciting. All right, so let's see, we we completed a, a challenge, or no, we got some challenges. Oh, that's right, we did this. So we got some extra conservation points from that, which is great. Let's say hello to all of these visiting players. Hello. How's it going? I'm so glad that you visited my zoo. Thank you. All right. Now, um, I need to think about what I want to do with our zoo at this point. Uh, what's this issue? Oh, just research. Okay, great. We completed some research on our camel, on our antelope, and several diseases. So that means that now that we are done on diseases, we can focus on another disease, I guess. Um, tetanus. Yeah, that seems like one that we should have under control. Okay, so we're passing the hippos and we're checking in on the lions. Oh my goodness. We have all kinds of problems here. Um, so the antelopes are about to mate. That's great. But, uh... Whoa, you guys completed even more. MRSA? Okay, yeah, keep researching that. Let's see, you are a... female who is about to pass away from old age. And that's unfortunate. Here is um, our younger male. But he is upset because... There's too many lions. So they had like a bajillion babies here. So I need to start getting rid of some lions. And that's fine. We'll get a boatload of conservation points for doing that. So let's go to animals. And let's take out all of the um, fully grown females. So, for example, Rahima... Um, I can release you to the wild and get 386 conservation points, which is terrific. And then, um, Mashika, I will release you as well. Hey, look, we have a Simba. How awesome is that? A young male. Um, and then... She's old, so let's keep two adult females around. And then Darren, Nabalung, and Ayaziz. Um, oh, I can't release them because they're babies, right? So maybe then I have to release this one. And now I'm just like, I've got 3,000 conservation points. I could really think about some elephants, perhaps. Let me check on everybody's welfare here. Let me unpause it and see if their... Yeah, so their social welfare has gone up significantly. There's still too many. Um, I know I am getting rich in points. I'm rich in dollars. I wish I could buy some stuff. But you know what I could do? Is build a bigger lion habitat. That's also a possibility. Instead of just constantly booting out my lions and then create a a place for gathering more conservation points. Actually, what I might do is build a... Um, yeah, Peacock for sure. So I have to be careful of that, which is you can only have one alpha male with the lions, right? So this dude, this lion right here who's making this kind of funny face, is he needs to be the only guy. And what I can do, I think, is actually make a separate habitat just for the babies. So people can go hang out and see the babies. 
And then um, when they start to grow up, if they're males, it won't cause a problem. And I hate to separate the babies from the mothers, but this sp space is small. And I'll just pretend in my head that they get to spend, like, time together when the zoo is closed or something. It's like they're going to school. So where do I want to build a baby lion exhibit for people to visit? Uh, this looks pretty cool. Over here by the conservatory and then the antelope and buffalo exhibit. Man, look at this exhibit. I mean, the amount of animals in here is ridiculous. Look at this. Bison. This guy is having a ball. I hope you're doing well. Uh, what's wrong with the habitat? It's not clean enough. All right, so I need to hire some more um, keepers to deal with this. The problem is, I think, when you get so many animals, it's really hard for them to stay on top of cleaning up all the animal poop. Unless you have just an abundance of keepers. Because this um, keeper is like putting food in. But she doesn't have time to to clean up right now. She's got to feed them. So let me just get some more staff. And I'm going to just get some keepers. I'm going to go one, two, and three. And then zooming out. I'm going to take a look at... Okay. I think that this work zone is the um, central work zone. Is that correct? Yes. So all of these new keepers, I want them to go to the central work zone. So you can go into central. And you can go into central. And then I need you, Jane Shank, to go into central. All right, I think that's pretty good. Okay. Let me unpause it and let these new keepers get their bearings. Now, I don't know if they're going to go right into the, the facility and clean it. Probably not. Let me see, what are these guys doing? I'm gonna follow these keepers around and just see what their what their plan is. Now they're definitely not going inside there. They're going someplace else. But now this keeper is cleaning up with the vacuum. So that's good. Alright, we can we completed some more research. Mycoplasmosis is being handled. Great. Alright. So let me then go to barriers and just start throwing in a new exhibit right here. Okay. I'm going to kind of integrate the gondola into it. It's pretty funny. I'm going to leave room for another exhibit perhaps. This is just for the baby lions, so it doesn't need to be huge. All right, perfect. So now we have a space hashed out. And what I need to do is then go to barriers and put in a, a keeper gate so that people can actually get to this there. And now it's a habitat. We completed some research on FIP. And that feels good. All right. Now... Let's just go ahead and take this wall, and we'll edit the barrier, and we'll just put in glass here, here, and here, as well as here and there. And then that should, like, provide people enough view on the baby lions, or at least I hope. Oh, the grizzly bears are about to mate. Hey, Zila, what's up? How's it going? 
we got some grizzly bear tenderness happening, and we might get some baby bears. I think I recall people, when I have watched some Planet Zoo videos, doing this, where they make a separate place for the babies so that they don't grow up and cause alpha problems. Like, I had this bear here, a little soldier, and then he started fighting his dad. Man, look at her play with that. This is hilarious. She's playing with this spindle. That's fun. Um, so this might be the start of something really good. Um, man, our research is crushing it. <laughs> the grizzly inspired you? Hilarious. You gonna draw some, some grizzly stuff? Or to go play. I mean, look at this giant soccer ball that the Grizzlies have. Isn't that awesome? They can come in here. Oh, she's going up the tree. She's climbing. Look at this. I mean, I didn't know Grizzlies were this nimble. But this Grizzly, she is on the branch. This is ridiculous. I mean, what is going on here? Is she okay? Do I need to call, like, the fire department to get her off of this tree branch? That's awesome. Honey is... I mean, she's 100% welfare, and she's pregnant. She's like, I'm pregnant. I'm just going to hang out in this tree. Don't worry about me. All right, I will not worry. I'm fine with that. Do that. Research completed on MRSA. Great. Let's go take down something else. Let's research um, another disease, I guess. Um, man, we have so many diseases. Um, yeah, botulism. Take care of that. Uh-oh. Inbreed. Pause. This is scandalous. Please look away. We have some indecent images here of inbreeding. So I need to just... Figure out which one this guy. All right, so as soon as they start to inbreed, I just release to the wild. Um, we get 15 points, and then boom. The antelope has disappeared. You may again look at the screen. We're all safe. Uh, okay, I'm going to unpause it. Yeah, this is why you need to make separate, <laughs> separate areas so you avoid inbreeding and fighting. Um, okay. Okay. Great. All right, let's get on to another disease that seems important. Um, oh, how about, uh, yeah, Nile Croxodile Pox Virus? Dude, Peacock, you know it, dude. I'm all about exile. Have you ever seen Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome? Do you remember the exile punishment in that movie? It's unreal. All right, so this needs to get ready for lions. I'm going to go ahead and... I know, Zila, this game is awesome. There's just so much uh -oh, going on here. I have to pause it. Look, did you see this? Okay, so first of all, in my um, African zoo it's really hot it is actually 108 degrees fahrenheit out here so these people are dying so what that means is i need to build some facilities for them guest facilities and i'm just going to go with um i'm going to put in some uh vending machines because i don't have a lot of space right here and then this way people can just get like a little bit of something to drink. I don't know if they'll go buy it right away, but they're hot. So people can now at least drink something. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my lions moving. And so I'm going to go over to my lion exhibit. Uh-oh, the zoo inspector is here. I hope everything is up to snuff. And I'm going to just take all of these lions and... Um, move them oh. 
yeah, I mean, this this zoo is super, super hot, which is why um, I need to build drink places everywhere. All lions that are babies will be moved to this new exhibit. Actually, I think I can do this in a smoother way than just like randomly clicking them. I think I can just click on... Oh, cool, Zila. Yeah, um, that's awesome. No, I wish I knew Italian. I unfortunately don't know much Italian, but I've been to Italy twice, and I want to go again. I loved it. All right, let me just go ahead and then take the animals from the lion lounge. I'm going to just take all of the um, the juveniles. And so, like, Nasser and um, Lakeisha, Simba, Aizi, anybody who's not very old, um, I'm going to move into this new exhibit. Boom. Delivery scheduled. All right. So now what's happening is you can see that the keeper right here, um, Denise Woodard, is coming in, and she's got one of the baby lions in her hand as long as a big – she also has a broom. I kind of want to tell her, like, you don't need to have the broom and the box. Like, just one thing at a time, but I appreciate her gusto. Anyway, she's going to drop off the lion, and what I can do is just immediately let this lion pop out of the box, and I'm going to pause it. And you can see that this adorable baby lion is checking out the new habitat. So this is um, Nablung. Um, and we need to see how she likes the space. So the terrain is no good. So let's see. The terrain is bad. Um, I tell you what, Zila, I have not seen Prehistoric Kingdom, but I'm writing that down right now and going to put it on my Steam wish list as well because any kind of games that let you um do stuff with animals I'm in that mean like you know friendly stuff to animals although I was just doing not friendly stuff to animals in RuneScape but that happens um okay so the terrain is bad so let's look at what you want it's because the plants are okay and the coverage is okay it's just there's um, way too much long grass. So we just go into terrain and we go into the terrain painting tool and we need to give them these lines way more short grass. So let's just cut the grass. Like this is my lawnmower and we're going to just cut the grass and just kind of, um, you can see the slider is adjusting as the lions get happier about the fact that there's less long grass. They also want rock. So let's just put some rock in here. Oh, it's coming out in 2021? That's cool. Thanks, Puppet. I'll keep an eye on it. I'm going to watch the, the video for it. And then let's just put in some rocks to satisfy their love of rock. And then now the terrain is actually really good. They just need hard shelter. So let's go to Habitat and build some beds and shelters. And I'm going to build this insanely awesome African shelter for these African lions. It's huge, right? But the cool thing is about this shelter, I'm gonna slide it backward, is that it'll make it so that this dead space in the back of the habitat that I built that's far away from the, the viewing of the people um, is kind of displaced so that the animals will be incentivized to be down here more. At least that's my hope. I'll put that right there. 
and then I'm going to click on this guy again and see how he thinks about now his um, area is great he just needs some other people with him and he needs enrichment oh wow Jurassic World Evolution is another game I really wanted to try Zila um, is that game good has anybody else played that Jurassic World Evolution I've looked at that and I like dinosaurs don't get me wrong. So I was curious about that. Oh, we're done with FIP. Time to pick another disease to take care of. All right. Tularemia. Yeah, get that done. Okay, Puppet. From what you've played, it's good. Man, so many games to try out. That's awesome. All right, let's build some enrichment for this lion. So I'm just going to go to filter, and I'm going to go to... Um, Oops. Let me try this again. Here we go. Go to building uh, habitat. And then go to filter and go to species West African lion. And then we need like food and water. Now enrichment items. Make some food enrichment. Yeah, they love these blood pumpkins. Sure. They like the scratchy filter i'm going to build it right here so that people can walk by and see and then this like zebra pinata is always a huge hit and let me just build some toys as well um this scented sack is fun sprinkler is a good time and a scratching post what kitty doesn't want a scratching post right all right so let's see what this um, Nablong thinks now. Um, now we're at 100% except for the fact that there is... Uh, oops. Keeper cannot reach habitat. Oh, you know what? I forgot to uh, put this in a work zone. So I have to go to zoo and I have to go to staff and I have to go to work zone and select central work zone and edit it. And then I want to put in this habitat and also these vending machines so that they get maintained. Now I can just exit. And then, um, look at this. This vending machine is already getting money. Let me change the maintenance schedule on this to every month so that, not never, every month, so that it doesn't catch on fire. Same thing for you. Change the maintenance over here to monthly. Perfect. And then, um, I think all of the keepers can get here to move the animals. Mmm, interesting. So it's fun to watch, but not as fun to play. Now they're, um... Thanks for the heads up on that, Zelo. That makes sense. Now that there's another lion in here, look at this. Now their social is full. Now they're, um, happy. Their welfare is, like, nearly tops. I just need to give them better food, but luckily I can do that. So let me go to the habitat and click animals. And let's give them grade three food quality. And we're going to call this, um, oops, it always does that when I want to type. Uh, this is called the baby lion uh, play zone. So now we've got the baby lion play zone set up. And this is tremendous. All I really need to do to this habitat, I think, at this point is go to habitat and, um, oops, I'm sorry, go to facilities and then go to uh, viewing devices. I'm just going to put up some screens that tell people, like, what animals are in here in case they couldn't tell. And I'm going to put some speakers here and here. But we have to be careful not to compete with the speakers over here. Yeah, I love this music. Honestly, Zila, I'm 100% with you. It is super soothing. This has no power, so I'm going to have to get some power. Oh, this has power. 
And so does the other one. So I don't know how much I care. All right, West African Lion. All right, now we can tell people about West African Lions. And they can enjoy this. I need to put in some... Uh, oops. Donation bins so people can give me money for checking out the lions. And let's throw an ATM over here as well. Oh, Siberian Tiger. Boop. We got some fighting. Okay, let me see what research we've completed. Okay, cool. We actually mastered the antelope. That's great. So then let's just turn our attention to another potentially devastating virus and get that going. And then um, I need to go to my tiger exhibit because they're fighting over here. Yeah, these two tigers, um, Madame Orangius is actually fighting Nadzita. And I don't know if this is like a female fight thing or if it's just because it's too crowded in here. Um, there's too many adults. So let me just go to the habitat then and click on some of these animals. So you, for example, I'm just going to release you to the wild. And we, we get 555 um, conservation points. Oh, puppet. Oh, okay, that's great. Well, that's it's good to know that, you know, when you ban a bot, that it just, they are quick and swift to take action. That's, that's really cool. Um, Sir Stripes is getting old. But he's about to get replaced at some point. I mean, I don't want to use those words, but uh, we've got some up-and-comers. Neither of these guys I can release to the wild yet, though. Let me see if there's any other animals. Man, this tiger town is just three male adults and one female. This is a problem. Yeah, Peacock, you're right. The poor albino would not do well in the wild. <laughs> That's right, Zila. It's like, hey, you want to see these cute baby lions? Then you got to pay. All right. It is a, it is a reverse harem. I got to do something about this. Um, who is this guy? This is Sir Stripes. Um, you know what? I can actually release Sir Stripes to the wild, even though he's really old. And I think I should do that. He's done a great job here. I'm going to release him. And we get 397. Goodbye, Sir Stripes. I hope you enjoy the rest of your days. And now I'm going to release this dude. 600. That's awesome. And now we just have um, this Siberian tiger, Nikolai, and Madame Orangius. I just have to make sure that Nikolai is not um, her son. Let me check their stud book. Uh, who's their parents? Okay, yeah. Madame Orangius is your mother, so we've got to get rid of you. Thank you, also. And what I need to do is bring in another male to mate with Madame Orangius and repopulate our tiger exhibit. So let's go to the animal trading. I'm up to like 5,600 conservation points, which is pretty tremendous. And we're going to go for species filter. Uh, we're going to turn off West African lion and we're going to go with Siberian tigers. And then I need um, only... Yeah, males. Good. So, can you refresh the list, please? Um, did I... I don't think you're hearing what I'm asking for. Uh, filter. There we go. Mm, let's look for somebody with some good genes. This guy has great genes, but he's pretty expensive conservation point-wise. How old is he? He's not that old. I'm going to go ahead and get him. 
And then we're going to move him right into here. Yeah, Peacock, you know what? Um, maintaining the tigers hasn't been horrible, but you're right. I built them this massive habitat. So I hope it goes out well. I, she's just now at this point, she's like, where did everybody go? But you know what's funny is she's 100% okay with it. She's like 99% welfare. No problems here. The only thing that she doesn't like is that there's um, the plants are inappropriate. Uh-oh. What animal died? Oh, no. This guy's died. This old mandrill. He passed away. Like, sitting up. Aw, poor guy. We got to get this dude. We lost the mandrill. Man, mandrills were the first species that I built at this zoo. Um, or at least... I didn't build a species, but, you know, that I got a habitat for. Uh, do this. What's this? We got a gift? Oh, no. We've completed the research. I see. May he be in peace in palm heaven. Yes, that is correct. Oh, press F to pay respects. I'm doing it. I'm I'm paying respects. <laughs>